welcome to United by Trucks. Today, we got a little bonus episode for you. We're actually headed down to pick up what might be maybe a new shop truck. Well, you've probably seen it in the thumbnail. Who can turn down a short bed square body? Especially one that's right up my alley. A Little bit of rust, pretty straight otherwise. I think it's mostly original, great price. We hadn't really got all that settled yet. Going down, pick up a little shorty square body. I think it's a 76. It's kind of that neutral buckskin kind of color, I believe is what they call it. A tan, essentially. But we're gonna run down here, about an hour south of Atlanta. Check it out, probably scoop it up, bring it on back home. Supposedly it runs. It's got a six cylinder, three on the tree. Uh, like I said, short bed, mostly original. It's got some rust in the rockers, rust in that fender cup on the passenger side. Pretty typical of the 73 to 80 square bodies here in the south. But we're pretty excited about it. It could be a really cool truck. You know, we'll probably, I think it needs an alternator. I think it may need a clutch. So we're gonna get down here and see if it runs. If it don't, we'll just pull it up, up with the winch. But We'll probably get this thing running, slam it down over some steel wheels, whether 15s or 20s or I don't know. We're just gonna go check it out. So y'all come along for the ride. See you there in a minute. Made it down to Hogansville, Georgia. About to go check out the 76 short bed square body. Introduce you to Lee, the owner. Y'all come along. This thing's pretty cool. 76 short bed. That, what I think is like buckskin color. Mostly original. Got a little aftermarket radio in it. A little rust in the rocker. Rust in the uh, bottom of the door. On the passenger fender. But other than that, this thing is super duper straight. Which is really, really cool. So really, really pleased with how this is turning out. We uh, got a message from this uh, awesome gentleman right here, Lee Philpot. He, uh, How's it going, guys? Oh, let me get you focused in there. So we got an awesome message from Lee uh, on Instagram about this truck. And really cool thing is, he didn't misrepresent it at all. So you can't beat that. Um, so we're gonna get this thing bought, get it loaded up, and get it back to Georgia. But uh, Lee, you wanna give us a little bit of story on this truck what do you know about it uh pretty much uh my father purchased the truck back in 2006 um i ended up driving the truck a little bit after i graduated high school um whenever i bought another vehicle he ended up taking over the truck and uh basically just used it to pull a little pop-up camper around sweet uh, mount chiha pine mountain things of that nature yeah. just to go camping Dude, that's awesome. Well, I really appreciate you uh, shooting me a message on this truck because oh, I'm really excited to uh, be the next owner. We're gonna we're gonna take this thing and probably make it the UBT shop truck or something. It's just uh, it's too too cool not to not to do something with. I failed to mention it is a straight six three on the tree, pretty much base model truck, but man, it's got a lot of cool things going for it. Like I said, aside from the rust, the bones are just straight i mean body panels are good bones are good and the wind is strong <laughs> all right guys so we're gonna get uh we're gonna get lee paid and get this thing loaded up work.
time to take a fender off. Normally it's <laughs> slow stuff. Heck yeah, dude. When we got that thing on there. All right, guys. You can see we got it loaded up. It's kind of hairy. Can't decide if we got a little clutch issue, emergency brake issue, something. But it runs. It drove up on this trailer. That's all I care about. That's all Lee said it would do. So we're all good. We're going to get this thing strapped down, get it back to the house. Got this thing loaded up on the trailer. Actually drove up as you probably saw there. Got to get the clutch issue figured out. But this thing is awesome. Hard to beat a good straight short bed square body. Me and Lee were joking. It's like a pawpaw truck. But I've already got a pawpaw truck. So we might have to just name it Phil Pot after Lee and his dad. Because that, I don't know, just sounds like a cool name for a pawpaw truck. All right, guys, appreciate you tuning in to this little bonus episode of United by Trucks. As you see, we got this cool 76 short bed square body loaded up. Big thanks to Lee for selling it to us, for reaching out to us on Instagram. If you've got a truck that you want to sell for a reasonable price, definitely hit us up on Instagram, even though I have promised myself I'm not buying another one until we finish the K5. But you never know when a guy like Lee might pop up with a cool truck like this for the right price. So big thanks to Lee. Appreciate you, man. Yes, sir. It's really, really cool. And uh, we'll catch you next time right here on United by Trucks. But before you jump off the screen, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Definitely smash that thumbs up button if you like what you've seen today. And drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think we ought to do with this 76 Chevy Silverado that we're calling Philpot. So we'll catch you next time on United by Trucks. See ya. Cue the music. Cue the music.